Hello and welcome to a new Rock On video and today I'm gonna show you how to prep your bike for a long-term storage or a winter hibernation. We change tires usually when we put the bikes to a longer sleep but what we can do before is actually measuring the tread depth and checking the symbols on the side that indicates the age of the tires and with that we can decide if the tire is still good for another year or not. So if the tires are still good for another year I suggest following. Pump the tires to its maximum pressure or lift them up on the front and rear bike stand if you have a set at home and with that you will minimize the flat spots on the tire while the bike is resting at home. In case you are wondering what tire I'm using on my street bikes is the Avon 3D Super Sport with advanced pattern design and a track developed construction and that gives me a great handling and an amazing grip on the track and also on the road especially the grip is a constant grip that you can feel and doesn't give you any surprise slips in the corner and it's exactly the safe feeling that I love on the tire. A riding season can leave its mark on the bike and for that case I suggest to deep clean the bike and check for some leftover debris that you missed and clean them because they can corrode your paint or some other metal parts on your bike. After the power wash session I suggest to go over the bike with a clean rack not just only to clean the miss spots but also with that technique you will find some loosened up bolts or missing bolts or even worse some cracked plastics or metal parts that way you know what needs to be replaced or repaired. Clean your exhaust and your front forks with WD-40 be careful for the front forks, use a brand new rag to avoid any scratches. While you are cleaning your forks, you can also give some love to your fork seals. You just pull them down, add some loop and rotate. So you spread the loop and push them back up. The next thing is the chain. You should clean it and lube it. But not only that, remove also the front sprocket cover. As you can see, there is a lot of dirt collecting and to keep the chain cleaner for a longer period, you should clean that also. Next tip will save you some money is safeguarding the battery. If you're running a lead based battery that comes mostly with all the bikes, I suggest to get one of those is the so-called maintainer and what it does is actually automatically charging the battery when it's needed and if you're running a lithium ion battery, the discharge rates are so low that you just need to disconnect the negative terminal and a maintainer is not needed but if the bike is parked outside on the cold I suggest to take out the batteries and maintain them inside. The next important check is the gas tank itself especially the metal tanks tend to rust through a longer period of time so a simple solution to that is to fill them up with a gas. Next up is brakes, lights and fluids. Check your brake pads if they have enough meat if not Time for a replacement and brake fluids if they have a color like that or even darker. Also time for a refreshment and brake lines because they can be squashed in on some places and that can lead to a future brake failure and you don't want to have that. If you're running a hydraulic clutch don't forget about this oil and also your coolant fluids. So you don't own a nice warm and dry garage or a living room then you need to park your bike outside but for that I suggest to cover the bike up to protect it or from the sun or from the moisture because metal doesn't really like water and that can lead to corrosion or rust and not only moisture also sun is dangerous especially for the paint leather seats that can crack and also anodized parts can lose color because of the UV lights. 
We can choose from two types of bike covers, such as this textile one, which is more of a basic kind of a thing, protects from the sun and the dust. And then you have waterproof versions, which are based on polyester materials. And you have also premium versions that have softer inner linings, waterproof from the outside, a window from your number plate, and you name it. Those were some important tips how to put your bikes for a longer sleep. And if we miss some, let us know in comments below so we can learn even more how we can protect our beloved two-wheelers. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, rock on.